Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This is nothing to worry about. This is called tomato cat facing. <laughs> they say that this resembles a cat's face in some way. That'd be a pretty scary looking cat. The tomatoes on the bottom of the plants form off the first flowers. And when you first put your tomato plants in, sometimes those temperatures dip into the 40s. The belief is that the cold weather or the cold dip can damage the flowers that first form on your tomato plants and cause cat facing. And when you look at the tomatoes down here, they all have this to some degree. This tomato just fell off. Let's pull it over here. Just a little bit right in there. All the tomatoes that first formed, or all the flowers that actually first for formed. And as you work up and as you work your way up the plant, the tomatoes really no longer have that. Maybe slightly in some areas. But they look pretty good. That one has it a little bit back there. But as the temperatures begin to warm in the evening, the summer temperatures roll in, things stay warm, cat facing tends to go away. You can certainly eat these tomatoes. I'm gonna make a tomato cucumber salad out of them. There's nothing, you, there's nothing you can do to fix it. You didn't do anything to cause it. People also say it's from chemical drift of sprays. If that were true, it wouldn't just affect the tomatoes. You'd have really curled and distorted leaves. It really is a temperature issue. And the reason I believe that is because it always happens usually on the bottom tomatoes when you're moving from spring into summer and it can show up again in your fall tomatoes when those flowers are affected by the cooler weather. Here's another example. The first flowers and first tomatoes can really get beat up by temperature fluctuations. Another example. I'm going to pick all these. I'll show you them right at the end of the video too. Let's see if we can find some more examples. As you work your way up, the tomato looks a little bit better. Slightly there. I don't have any more tomatoes forming up here yet, but I'm sure I have other examples. The tomatoes over here have it slightly. Some varieties are more prone to cat facing. So if you're getting um, tomatoes off that plant that are really bad every year, you don't like it, you might want to just change the variety. This variety right here is the green zebra and it's pretty notorious for getting it. These are all the first flowers under there. So the tomatoes have it. And again, nothing you can do, completely edible. Let's see if there's any more examples. And it all got used, tomato, cucumber salad, onion, basil, and garlic from the garden. And I'll also be making a rustic tomato sauce if you want to subscribe and follow me. This is the old German. It's a really great tomato, by the way. First tomatoes, you can see a little bit. Even more so on this one. So let me sure I get that in there. And then as you work your way to other tomatoes, a little bit. Let's see if I can get it around there. And then we continue upward and it's lessening off. And these guys look pretty good back there. So again, cat facing is going to be caused by temperature drops, affects the flower, affects the way it's pollinated, affects the way the tomato form. There's nothing to worry about. These are all heirloom tomato varieties. Heirlooms tend to be more susceptible to cat facing. So if you have a plant that gets it really badly in your area, maybe you want to change varieties. You may hear that cat facing is caused by too much nitrogen. That's not really true. If, if it were, if you're using more nitrogen throughout the growth of the tomato plant, you would see this, you know, throughout the whole growing period or in the middle of the tomato plant. You're typically going to see it in the beginning of the season. First flowers are damaged by dips in temperature and later in the season when the cool weather is rolling back in and the flowers are also damaged. Please check out my blog, The Rusted Garden Journal. For more information on vegetable gardening, very often I will be doing a blog article to support the video. You can find the link in the video description and I will be making a cucumber tomato salad with everything that you see here. These look terrible, but they're completely edible and the tomatoes are delicious. Thanks for watching.